this game goes on to play against FaZe and can etch, etch their name into history. Winning the ever elusive major, that's what it's all about. Number two and number three going head to head on Dust 2 of all maps. Yeah, classic. Dust 2, as old as time itself. CT is fully armored. Almost Nothing as old special. as Jax. Almost. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. The Eternal. Navi with the Util. Boomich hanging on to that smoke double flash. And it was massive impact from Boomich on that last map. What a performance from him. Perfecto, he doesn't even turn. He doesn't give a damn. Spinks gets shut down inside of the doorway. Opening kill the way of Navi. But there is a ton of damage here versus the T side as well. Yeah, one of the rounds where it sometimes matters less, you know, with the headshots coming in. But, oh, the headshots are coming. Instant delivery there from Snappy. And he's been so good on the CT pistols. Shots in from Madden. He deals with that threat in simple. And now it is just pit suddenly. Finds one inside spawn and dies right there towards Ooh. doors. Entz will draw first blood. Yeah, and they have been struggling on their Dust 2 pistols. 25% in, in the last five maps. Navi won 75%. So that could be something that dictates this game. Both these teams have some interesting losses. Uh, a snappy, or sorry, Entz losing to both G2 and FaZe. And uh, Navi losing to just FaZe, I believe, in their last match. So they are coming off a loss into this map pick. Which just goes to show you how strong the veto is for Entz. But they've seen something that they can exploit. We know those Navi game plans run deep. We had that back and forth at the start of Nuke. The four spies dealing damage both ways, and Ents need to avoid that problem right now. Best chance, convert. Madden, insta headshot versus Bit. That's a good threat to take down. Simple continues to fire that scout. Warning shots whizzing by. One of them hits, okay. and with it, Electronic's going to swing straight outwards. Oh, he's waiting in the grass for that moment to pounce. Util and he's found it. Starts to kind of pepper towards Deha. Spinks comes in from window with a clean headshot. Double kill from oh. Spinks, in fact. And Deha shuts down the tunnels. It's only simple left over. He's going to cross paths with Hades. What is this? Now, they've got that bomb, and they've swarmed all around him, but oh. Simple just minimizes himself. I mean, they ca literally cannot know he's here. First Ooh. shot's missed, scouts out. Yeah. Four CTs beacon him at the same time. Cohesion from Entz is fantastic. And they will convert as well, so uh, this is as good of a start as you could ask for. Minimal deaths. Two clean ones coming back from a 4v5 in the pistol. Entz seemed to do very consistently. And Madden, he has not shown fear. I think he is an absolute playmaker. He might not be cut from the same specific cloth that Spinks seems to be cut from. I mean, that's one in a million, right? That is a, a factory new blue gem. But Madden, at the same time, he plays like he is. And I think that's opened him up. But, oh, wow. Just as I talk him up, he gets taken down. Yeah, Perfecto just drop kicks him back down in the lower tunnels. Diha, who was his escort, decides to also fall back not wanting to give away more than they already have. Bit will grab the MP9, uh -oh. though. And with it, he finds the better of Diha. Spinks gives good cover towards mid, but that's two SMGs offered over to Navi, and they should be giving them nothing right now, Entz. Yeah, yeah, it's a touch messy already. Hades patrolling. And once again, Navi kind of pa patiently waiting for their opportunity, as they're known to do. Hades, man of the hour, where, where he rotate next. Stuck in the spawn, now spotted. Does he want this? He starts to chase just as they leave, giving them no space to breathe whatsoever. Hades catches Bit with a back turn. Boomage Perfecto, two versus three. Yeah. Desert Eagle in the hands of Perfecto. But they're going to get up Cat. Yeah. No one is really culpable in that situation. I mean, Hades played the space perfectly. Snappy in a checkmate position here. Enough time to clear it, but will they? Nah. And with that, bomb hits the ground, and yeah. it is that 3-0 start for Entz. So a little life on Dust2, but now the challenge begins as the guns come through from Navi. Yes, yes. Absolutely perfect positioning there from Snappy. If it comes to a long play, you might, be, might not want to be stuck over a goose, not without pit control, but in that situation coming up, Cat, you've got such a favorable fight, placed a multi-frag. And one of those positions that's so tucked in, nowhere to fall back, but still is the perfect spot to be in, sometimes even if you're spotted. No utility there for uh, Navi to get him out of that spot. And hell, they don't even expect him at all. 
Hades on that AWP. Down a map, looking for a statement from Hades. Thing was, because of how dominant that first half was, we didn't even get to see what Ents could do on CG side of Nuke. A couple lost rounds and it was over. Flash towards doors, no close contact bit, he's fine. Just gonna continue to skate by the mid presence that could have been. And if they round that cat corner, then Hades looks to lock them in. And Hades, he was questioned last round, last yeah. map. Right now, uh, Navi are dominating inside of middle. I mean, Hades is the next man up, but uh, it's not going to be something they don't expect. Flash will confirm it though, at least getting, getting a little information off of that utility, the better than play. nothing. They run boost, and Hades misses his shot on Boomich, who now just tucks into the staircase. Madden instead is going to be that front runner, and both the CTs falling back onto the ramp as we find that 45 second mark. They, they hold a little bit extra utility, right? They use a run boost instead of sending any flashes over on the cat cross. Smoke goes in. Incendiary has a response. Bit trying to toy with the side of this one. Scope right there for him. Oh, and it's a quick headshot from Bit. Five versus four, equalized by Madden. He locks down those two kills in mid. Bit tries to get himself onto that A site. Flash comes in from long. Frag follows suit. Snappy giving away his position. But with those utilities, we have Woo! the T side. Back to the 3v3. Simple offers something. 10 seconds. And that bomb will be planted. Simple peeks wide. Dies. D hook comes around the side of ramp and sprays. Bit with the double kill. And just one more. He needs the reload and he dives into the cover. Sphinx goes over oh! top and it's Big Bit with a big clutch on the big stage. What a statement from Bit. That round was done, simple. Double scoping over top of his first enemy and Deha turning one spray into two kills. Bit makes up for all of it. And he's the guy who, starting this year out, it seemed like was half asleep. But now the headshots are rolling in. Back to the 70 HSP. Consistency across maps. Oh! oh, a shot on the cross. Even with the utility down. Down goes Sphinx. Head cracked. Hades back on flat. Uh -oh. Misses his second shot and falls. But here comes d oh. Again, just one and done's the way events. Not going to be enough to hold man advantage. Madden gets active. Yeah, that's a round winning trade. The bomb he got is past. Still, yeah. No, no, no. He got past yeah, that off. They this, don't know about it. This is ridiculous. I mean, in this position, it's going to be heard. What the now hell? Now he's just back in a regular spot. My man Madden just ran through long doors, down mid, oh. and through to the CT side, and never got spotted in the process. Oh my god. Electronic stays perched on top of the catwalk, gets the better of him, and will leave the IGL of Ents in the 1v3 clutch. Man. Bomb down long, that open route offered by Madden's push. How in the world did he get no contact from long doors to CT spawn? I, I think right there, Madden had the opportunity to look for a bit more. As soon as he crosses back through the doors, he's no longer in an unexpectable position. Every team is looking forward to that half of the map. So as cool as it was that he was able to run through without getting spotted, it was maybe the only advantage there for Ents in that spot where he was lurking. Of course, he doesn't know what he missed. But and Navi don't care at all. They'll take that every day of the week. Boomich goes down. It doesn't feel like this one on three is any more on than it was before that kill, but Snappy at least will be able to hold on to this gun. I mean, it looks like Simple's about to take a timing peek on the door cross and he'll get by. What a crazy round. But once Madden goes out of the door, Navi handled that situation beautifully with simple taking a shot from back, allowing Enz to come forward. It's almost an invitation, and Electronic waiting to punish that exact peak. Perfect cohesion here for Navi to seal up round number six. Five moving into six, I should say. The symbol's just thinking about his nails at this point. He knows he has his map locked up. Feels that way, right? Just kidding, of course. We don't, we don't know that. And again, there is so much to be learned about Dust 2 between these, these squads. Solo AK for Snappy. Saved from the last round. Not much bought around it. Some utility to stop the potential A rush, but Hades is now just going to look to slip into the big pit. He's about to have his hands full. Boomich leads the charge. Multiple players already getting through that doorway, and the rotate will not save him. It's a great dink, all things considered. Boomich will back up a bit. 
but unless it's snappy, it's nothing you'd assume. <laughs> Simple. Tries to flick that one down into the CT peak, yeah. but no, sir. Yeah, that was uh, that was how they were trying to set up Snappy for an opportunity to get back into this round. You see the bomb gets left back, and the CTs actually gamble towards mid. They can reclaim space here, but they don't have the ability to pull off a successful retake on the site. They were hoping to find something before they get that started, but in this spot, oh, the T's want to get comfortable. Simple. So confident, looking to switch over to just the Glock, and he'll actually AK. pay the price of his life. Remember, this is that one threat. Oh, how much can Snap get out of this? Oh, not wow. much more than that one. Boomage insta headshot, Jeez. electronic right there to just clean up these pistols. Woo. And now those individuals of Navi from Nuke are showing up on Dust2. Yeah, two. they're showing, they're shooting hot for sure. Headshots all over I the mean, place. I mean, think about that weird 3v3 situation. That was Boomage denying the trade in the door. If he gets dinked and dies, then suddenly it's Ants who are in the power position. Absolutely. Still finding out whose story it is to tell here. But so far, so good, even though Ents won that pistol. Navi won three pretty quality rounds, one total anti-eco. Some initial nades down mid. There are some really interesting change-ups. They actually sneak out to blue, and that punishes Hades. That molly and door doesn't often get disrespected. Oh, tons of damage. Smoke actually bounces oh. too far. Perfecto burn. It didn't explode on first contact. The refrag is in. And space taken away from Navi. Yeah, did Perfecto do his job most of the time on T side? You'd be happy to go into a four on four situation. Dust 2 feels like a small map, though. Rotations are nice and quick. There is still counterplay here left over for the CT side, and Snappy might burn first bit of it. Oh, but not enough bullets to make that kill happen. But here's that dangerous game you want to play with Navi. You leave Electronic and Simple on such a little HP, they can still take you down. You must cut the head off the snake. Or they'll slither their way into this seventh. We have yet to see if this mid-B smoke is an empty threat. And congeal into their favorite spots. Should be easy from Snappy, but wow. he has to go for that reload. Oh, he's playing with grenades, and Boomich gonna follow suit through those doors. Madden looks to take up the helm, gets the first and oh. second, sprays them down on long. And now Bit will be pushed back into the clutch again. Jumps Ooh. into the snake pit and dies as Ents find four. Yeah, Madden has been quietly reliable as hell. Stopping a mid B, picking up the pieces there, even though Snappy he does a good job. First of all, Snappy has his name on two frags, right? He refrags a blue bin with his molly and then he takes him out on that door, holding hard as well. If Simple had cleared that, that would have been the player to take him out as the rifler. But he ran into that situation, trusted it, and knew he had somebody to fall back on. Oh, landed shot from Simple. Oh, always getting punished for not using utility on the door cross. CTs don't want to challenge us that often with the opposite. We can see from Hades, he's trying to crush him in the defaults. He's actually taking some risks here. He has been very good at calling them out in these oh, positions. Oh, oh. But Simple is happy to look for that fight, too. Look how hyperactive this is from Simple, just dancing around in spawn, knowing eventually he's going to get that impacted, sure enough. Hades, a bit more subtle with his peak, a little more passive, a little more nervous, and understandably after Nuke, he was dismantled. Oh, we've got a bad smoke here off the corner of this. Madden, will he punish? Boomage still alive. He does, no. he gets the kill. He gets it. But the B site, it's been compromised. They're got all over at this the point, window. inside the window. Bomb gets dropped at the end of tunnels. We still have another nearby, just in those doors is Sphinx. Smoke comes down as Bit takes cover. That's trying to tuck himself in so that Sphinx can't spam away. Electronic, though, caught on catwalk by Madden. Man advantage here for Mentz. They lost that B site. They tried to plug the hole in mid when they lost Hades. And it gave Navi this, a post to hold on to. Bit looking to cross back, Util flying over, CTs, what is their move? Oh Bit finds Snappy, as that smoke's not big enough, oh. Bit with a second, and as he pops back up, Sphinx takes him down. We've got Perfecto back sight, half of the health gone from Sphinx, he's hunting for his frag, oh. but Perfecto drops it, puts him full of holes, and ties this game at four. Yeah, when you see uh, Sphinx in that 1v1, you think it's, it's gonna lean towards him, but then there's Perfecto, the guy in his rookie year, made his name as a clutch player, playing a lot of support positions, but when left alive, was often the guy to bring home the 1v2s, make huge plays over and over again. And I can't help but feel like bit on the up is like Rops on the up. 
insanely composed light flicks. Man, Simple has basically not missed when it comes to this door. He goes right back at that challenge. Snappy wants to get hit twice. Simple's happy to do it. They've tried all combinations <laughs> when it comes to this door cross. But even with a full smoke down, they've gotten hit. The life of a B player on Dust 2, it's one of tragedy. Madden just trying to tuck behind this car. He's got so many players ahead of him. Oh, bit wow. right through the window. But that scout shot, look at the HP here from Navi. Simple weight, he gives support. And with it, an open door. Ends leaning on just a USP, a Zeus, and a Deagle. And Sphinx is trying to run over. Diha already inside of that bomb site, and that op is such a threat. Oh, Diaz with the Zeus. Oh, he takes his... Yeah, that's what the people want. <laughs> but Perfecto's going to take him down up close and personal. Clears that site, leaves Sphinx 1v5. An insurmountable challenge here yeah. on A. We have Navi in the lead on map two. Yeah, they're fighting really hard for these rounds. They're doing well inside of mid. A lot of mid dominance, I think, is the big thing. We are having Hades take liberal peaks, having a lot of autonomy about how he peaks with the op and looking for the duels. And I think in, in a couple of spots, we've seen him get that space back real fast, punish people for being out of position. But at the same thing, at the same time, we've also seen Simple just straight out win. We've seen him tag people who aren't even Madden or come back and kill Madden kind of at his leisure. He's had his way with them. Yeah. Ants will take their first attack time out of the, of the game. And I think it's one where, you know, they might want to try to implore some more different CT options. In their default setups, they've been allowed, kind of good to rely on their individuals when it comes to stopping mid-B pressure, especially when it comes to Madden later on. But right now, they've got to plug a few holes. Opening kills are a huge problem. We've seen the B site relatively evacuated in a couple of spots where Navi have taken that space. And whoa, we've got the suicide run here with the cover of an HE. Hades glass cannon. He's trying to break a timing. He's trying to creep around from the side of Cat. Simple oh. looks so powered up right now. But Hades, I mean, this is such a tough challenge. Yeah, he corroborated to go the information. Head to head. He'll find it. Hades getting the better of Simple. Finally, Sphinx in the back site. Oh, Stoic, what? But he just sits and waits and dies. Perfecto finds the headshot. Diho with the one. Madden's nade finds its mark. And Madden comes in with the spam. Perfecto, all that's left over. Another clutch attempt. Oh! Madden can sense them. The monster of Montenegro. Now we're playing ball. Touchdown after touchdown for Madden. He has put it together the kills. He is the glue of the team right now. Figuratively and literally playing the middle of the map with this rifle. Contributing both to the A site holds and B. He's been a man to trust and one to watch. And a player that has come alive in the two rifles that we've seen, one from Enz. You can't hide from him. They tried their damnedest. Enz gonna fight tooth and nail to the end of this second one, to the end of this run in Antwerp. Maybe this is just the start. But if Sphinx is still going to be absent, then it's great to see Madden up there with Diha. You know, Maniac did a really good job every single match of, of just hammering home this consistency from Diha, this next level from him. He doesn't have the highest highs compared to Sphinx, but damn it, if he's not there almost every time. Absolutely. He needs a right-hand man, and right now the man is Madden. My favorite story about Ents is the fact that their floor is so insanely high. You know, if you want to talk about the Madden, he could probably be a star player on another roster. They're just players right now that are above him, but only good things to say. Snappy. Oh, under pressure. Boomage, quick trade. Oh, wow. They set up in a position to actually come through with a B split to come fast. And Sphinx is up here with the op. Looking to shut down They'll the give cap it to him play. Dry. Perfecto's there. He gets the better of Sphinx. Here comes Madden from Carr again. But he's exposed to Perfecto with the double kill from Cat. A 2v2. And the bomb in the hands of Simple needs to cross. Yeah, they've seen this. This this will force activity out of the T's, right? They, they aren't in a position to What's just Simple up to? put it down. I think maybe looking for some utility if he can a find smoke. it. Yeah. Got one in his hands. Haiti starts to encroach. Off oh! play, and he puts one in the body of Perfecto. But Simple, he's got that cross. Ten seconds to the clock. Knows that there's a CT down below. 
And the bomb plant is instrumental. He'll punch in the digits. And with the CTs close, Simple needs to shine brighter than all the diamonds in Antwerp. But dinked by Diha, he dies. And with it, ends continue on. Yeah, they keep that pressure on. Thick at all points in the rounds. And that is huge, actually, from Sphinx. If they had slowed down on the cap play, Sphinx would get more and more nervous as long control has already been conceded. Snappy getting killed inside the door means that his position sitting on top of the railing is exposed. He'll have to fall in the CT and fight long. But they come through with the dry peak off Cat. He's ready to punish it there. And this time it's not Madden up there, it's it's Sphinx. Maybe the off is what he needs to get back into it, but we've already had a, a poor nuke where we haven't seen that very often from Sphinx. And a rough start to Dust2, but not the worst. Faster fight set for long. Oh Excellent flashbangs. Tech 9, tons of damage. Perfecto hits that headshot, and Madden falls back on 12 health. Okay, they actually have just seen three at long, and it looks like they're running fast up with the cat control, but they know that there's a gaping hole inside of mid, right? This is what happens on a three long control setup. The rotations have not been made smartly here for Ents. Believing the play will come to them. The T's disperse once again. They leave a question mark inside of Long. And the CTs want to investigate. Oh, there was a moment of timing. Simple gets by. Now you're talking an entire pack of what's left of Navi. Boomage to be sent to his death. Oh, Staffy gets the headshot midair, but here comes Simple. The Eagle is oh. alive! Two already. And two more to go. Remember, Matt in low health. Whew. He just got an answer. There's guns left on the floor. Simple would generously donate one over to Bid, even though he's got more HP, trusting in the gun that's already brought him two frags. Yeah, he knows what he can do. The capability is there, the probability, maybe not so much, but oh, contact versus Sphinx, who jumps up and does great damage, but Bit gets that kill. The A1S goes out, and now Madden with that off, he's gonna go for the save. Oh, the contingency and plans. Leaning on Simple's two Desert Eagle frags will tie the game at six. Oh man, that is half the fighting right there to get him back to six rounds. Ents maintained a lead for just a second, Simple. The absolute animal that he is never fails to surprise. Another unbelievable showing with the bare minimum to work with and the, another great contingency plan with him and Bit. Even though Sphinx is jumping up and shooting Simple on the site, Bit knows that he has to activate as soon as Simple takes contact. Sphinx is exposed when he doesn't realize it and it looks so easy for Na'Vi. That's the X Factor, that's the round sprinkled in. Tactical timeout here from Entz, two of four. Navi has set the bar at winning the major now. Coming in as favorites last time and actually performing the act that ultimately you could doubt. Navi, the organization, had not won a major until Stockholm. In the entirety of CSGO, even though they've been one of the most prominent, biggest, well-respected and renowned organizations, they never put it together. And now their expectation here is to be in the major final. They know that they're going up against a team that is rated higher than them. So they might be more reserved about how they feel. But Ents, they're just another notch in the belt. Hades versus Simple. Oof. And it's been very dangerous to try to approach him. It feels like that's where the CTs have been trying to get their opening over and over. It's been a losing game for the most part. Mid more than ever, Madden. Fully oh, flashed. That's such a huge call, though. We've seen them make this play before. Oh, and then the double down through the doorway. He just doesn't stop winning there. And those are the two best weapons that Entz had in their hands at the start of this one. Now, two-man disadvantage on top of a rough start. Oh, oh. but Dio will respond. And okay. At the very least, that's bomb. So things do have to slow down for Navi. There's an electric spark here for Entz in round 13 yeah, with that answer. And there's always actually the thought that that bomb could be watched by the off when they don't have one in response. So it does slow down the round dramatically here for the T side. They'll have to work harder than they like, and they don't throw a smoke here on Xbox. Boomich gets across. Oh. Diha sees that player top wow. mid, and now the bomb has been grabbed by Electronic, and he's looking to challenge Jesus. this. Look at that. Yeah, he's flirting with fate in this position, but they've actually made the progress they're looking for. Diha's still here. 
Util starts to come over. He gets nervous, anticipates that mid play, and sure enough, but look Nami, at the lead. they're trying to come at him. He gives up the window for a moment, and as he doubles back, he's going to be under pressure. There's a world of hurt coming from Diha from all directions. He's the last man standing, and he only oh. finds one on that B site hold. Every piece of the puzzle left from Ents was in position. Yes. But that's just way too easy. Yeah, it is. It is. They had, the, they had one behind the CD smoke. They were leaned towards B Diha. He, he could sense what was going on right there. There was going to have a lot of targets coming his way with a ton of utility to make it as hard as possible. So he gets into the site, looks for a position where he can sequence the best, misses his first opportunity in the window, and goes down. This will grant Navi the lead as we move into the final two rounds of the first half. Finally, someone doesn't get killed on the cross, even though they continue peeking him. Yeah, with USPs but, of all things. Yeah, are they just feeding him is the, is the wonder. You don't feed the beast. Well, that's a lot of mushroom caps popping up. It's just a shooting gallery, a carnival game for Simple. But those USPs continue to tag him, and they're getting all the closer. He's just going to set up Boomich. Knife out. No business going back in for peaks. Yeah. It is a colossal shutdown top mid for Navi. Two rounds the lead here yeah. as their T side takes ahead. And for people who are just watching the game for the first time, you watched that Blade interview at the beginning. And when Blade says something, you have to take it as extremely literally, right? If he says, oh, we are kind of worried about this team, he's not being facetious. He's being direct and completely honest about how he feels. He has a lot of respect for Ents, and I'm sure there's a respect across the table. But they've taken it seriously. They slammed him on Nuke. They have a lead here on Dust 2. Another round where a player gets hit on the cross. Poor Hades. And Simple has been way more active than any of the CT opping. Look how aggressive he's being. He had that tactic to run down suicide. Lots of footsteps being made inside of spawn as Cat Control has been taken quickly. They've skipped the op here. Oh, there is no op even uh, for Ents to work with. And it feels like Navi know this. Smoke on the doorway, but look at the attention that's being given to middle as opposed to this A site. Remember Hades, he was tagged at the start. That omnipresence from Simple felt, and Hades doesn't even have his trusty op to try and hold this off. Four members of Navi looking for the headshot on that ramp. Frag goes beyond. Matting comes in with a kill at the very least, and Hades just tries to tuck himself for the time being. Electronic oh. does the exact same thing, and he cracks it open on A. These CTs desperate to get into the mix, and Madden back from long, ahead of the curve. But Entz nearly kicked to the curb, as Simple comes in with that D in oh. hand. Diha finds Electronic trying to pry his way into the round. Boomage looking through the barrels, lights them up, and the spray is there, they're slaughtered! They Yeah, that retake was going on way faster than they anticipated. And Electronic looked like he might have gave him a chance to get back into it. But Boomich cleaned the plate. Not a crumb left. Ents lose this. Seven rounds away from getting eliminated from the Antwerp Major. And some would say a fantastic result. But if I was Sappy, I would think the momentum our team has, the teams that we have beaten to get to this point. The fear aura that they have from other rosters, the honesty from Blade in talking about how good they are. All of these tell us they should believe in the victory. You said a 25% win rate on pistols here yes. for Ents, correct? Yes. Well, they won the first to pick up both would just be a little bit of pressure, but That's... here comes Electronic into the tunnels already with two guns in hand, ready to rock them. Matting goes down first, wide swing for the second. Guns a blazing from Electronic, and Simple's right there with him. A collapse from Entz in mid. Yeah, oh, they get shut down. That's a snowball right here. And the CTs don't stop. 75% win percentage, only bolstered even further by the dual wielder of Electronic. Paired with the nade, that was a nice touch because the dualies, they don't have to hit you in the head. They can tear through your body armor, no problem. The timing was exquisite. The contingencies continue for Navi. There's always something a little bit more from behind that first player that takes contact. And now we swap over and we get to see Ents try to take control of mid. Let's see if they can control 
what Navi had such an easy time doing. Well, that's the scope down. Navi the fastest team to get through the legend stage. The team that honestly, if we're being honest with ourselves, nearly lost to Heroic, losing, you know, coming close to losing Ancient to a T-side comeback. Coming back on Nuke and showing us why this team was regarded as the best in the world with the best player in the world. Defense aren't careful. There will be one more step in that story, one more page turned. And one more team that's forgotten. Whoa, nah, a little too early here from Navi. And that would have just shredded Ents if they were a couple steps forward. Here's where Ents have to rely on Snappy more than ever. Diha and Hades, they've got to give us something. They've got to perform. They're starting to encroach on that now or never type situation. Electronic's going to play this patient. Simple to support. Both players ready to roll this cat push as it starts to come inward. Simple, great damage. But it's actually Sphinx with the deed to stop the one inside of sight. Boomich looking over top, and Simple right back at it. Hades cowering behind that smoke. Bomb hasn't been picked up, and Simple hunts them down one by one. USP's out, Snappy responds. Eight seconds, and Perfecto arrives from Cat. Oh, they know just how to keep that pressure up. Even though they lose their first right blue, they got two more on long. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. We have, we have to turn to Snappy here in this position. T side. This guy might have more ideas on these maps than any other team right now in terms of the different modes of aggression, the defaults, the lurk he plays. The, and the trust in his teammates might not be there at this moment. Like you mentioned, there are players that need to be alive that just aren't. The fearsome trades, the 2Ks in positions where they're caught out, we're not seeing that right now. All those are leaning towards Na'Vi. So can the tactician of Ents make up for that? Simple getting closer. Oh, Snappy dead. Hades follows suit. And he can smell them. He can find them every time. No space given to Ents. They can't even catch their breaths yeah. at this point. Na'Vi are on them. They get shoved out of spawn. Na'Vi absorbing their power. Eagles carouseling around the map. Looking for an opening once again. No reason not to play out the rest of the time with these Deagles at this point. They're in a mode where they're looking for damage. A kill or two if they can find it. And I don't know if they will. Simple with another MP9 kill. That, of course, speaks to the money. He remains Whoa. on the hunt. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. The ace from Simple. Okay. Way too easy, huh? Just a walk in the park. Yeah, that's right. All five, three grand made. My money is your money. Bad goes to worse here for Entz. Guns back. The T side needs to come alive Ooh, and Hades. Okay. Yeah, he's going to stick it to bit. Boomich going to get dangerously close here. Snappy, he's not hiding. He's waiting for that peak, waiting for that angle. Oh, oh no, he crosses just as Snappy turns, but now he gets tagged. That's enormous timing there in that situation for Snappy as he looks down to line up utility. Going forward with that boost huge, was huge. Now it allows him to take over long. Ooh. The rifles here still want some action, but now they've got to fall back on protocols. Yeah, looking to hold on to the car. Oh, this is an emergency setup, an opportunity here for Enz. Hoping to hang on to the cover. They can't forget about their mollies, but they've only got one on d -Ha. If Enz wait too long, Navi's one smoke can buy way too much time. Oh, the fire, it forces him out. Look at this. Boom it, she's running up. The one and done. Oh my god. But if they forget about Simple, if you forget about Simple, then you pay the price. Two kills from behind car. Another player locked into long, an instant to Sphinx as he fires back. The gun goes dry, and Hades with a little more life. Electronic.
Electronic cuts that down. And with 25 seconds, the chiseled beast needs to find his way through CT and into this clutch. But he has been so quiet. He has been nowhere to be found on the big stage. Spinks, what can you offer? Oh, he has to trust his reads in this situation. He has no bomb. He needs to kill. He's playing simply the frag. Oh. And it's electronic to deny it. Navi continue on. Yeah, he's fully plugged in. He's on the right frequency. Two of my favorite streamers right there. Antwerp, are you ready for the uh, phase Navi finals? He's trying to bait out some booze. We're not there yet, but yeah. it sure feels close. AK for Madden. Scout on Snappy. This is God form Navi. Yeah, Kerrigan may have his work cut out for him. And if Ed's bringing us back, it'll still be the case. Yeah, even better. Bit. He gets that first one through the doorway. Simple, nice off angle. They may never see this coming. Oh, and man. you know what? He's just going to go to them because Simple does wow. what Simple wants. And Sphinx will make him pay the entry cost. A single point of health on him. Yeah, they're at the point. And Navi are losing composure, but in a terrifying way. They're now taking peeks at Enzo, just yeah. hoping for some space. The gloves are off. They see red. And every step of the way, Enzo's player's dead. Two left, four on the side of Navi. Both bomb sites bolstered, scout in the hands of Sphinx, but remember that measly single point of HP. It's one bullet from Perfecto to close Ooh. it as Hades goes down and Navi two away yeah. from the grand finals. Yeah, with a straight five. So close. Don't even have to rest. <laughs> Another attack timeout here called for ends. Three of four. It is the optimal time to call it. It's pretty much a necessary thing. They don't use this, they might not be able to use all of them at this point. But what can Ents do? They always have the ability to play off spawns. They haven't done a set B just yet. We haven't seen too many buys or chances here. And I know right now, not Snappy has to inspire confidence in his roster. But they also have to give him something back. You know, he can put up his head into the bargain. But this is a team that the storyline continues. They do not have an opper that can hang with the elite oppers but they still have a very good player and a very high floor. But we've seen peaks for, we've seen peaks from Spinx that we haven't seen from many riflers in the world this year. And right now, it isn't there. Uh, right now, it's a crater. For the greater good events. I mean, it's his first time playing in, uh, at the, versus a team of this caliber with this much pressure. Oh. Okay, and Hades will a find a good one. Now. Oh. A couple shots from Hades in these last few rounds. Yep. That show us a little sign of life, but Simple gets dropped by it. Oh, Flash what? was right there, and Hades still finds it. Perfecto locked into the 1v1, oh. dies to the hands of Sphinx. Okay. And a four versus two, that's a good look for Enz. They've got a little more left in the barrel. Boomich, not anywhere near this B site, will not stop the bomb plant. Well, they've extinguished the flame for just a second. I mean, the embers still burn. There is a chance, of course, for Navi to snap right back. The money oh! is good enough. A great round, though, for Hades. Just as we call him out, he makes something happen. But it's always the question of if it's a drop in the bucket or not. It's got to be more than one they at need this it, point. They need it to happen every round now. Every round. Every round they have to do something like this. Near zero margin of error. All they did was win a default versus a team wow. that is running up mid, right? That, that is shot. the first step. Maybe now we don't try that again. What's level two? Hades powering up like Sphinx did in the first map, but it was again towards the end when it truly felt like it was too late. and. Far too little. Oh, the idea here, it looked like, uh, called right away, was to take this out long if they got the opportunity to get that kill. A lot of trust relied on, on Sphinx, but the nades were just perfect for Navi. There's nothing for them to consider. Sphinx would have had to get lucky to get that kill. And now they spread out into a default. We've already got some time burned off the clock, right? Now a position where they don't have a tunnels play, and we don't know if Navi have pushed it. So this will slow down Ents. Maybe too much rested on that one tactic. But... Again, this is dust too. 
the clock is almost always on your side. Rotations are quite quick. Navi don't feel compelled to respond too heavily. No over adjustments, no hefty rotation. Simple sitting into a nice position. Oh. <laughs> Down goes deep. It's up. right as the molly lands. Madden's going to try to crank that dial. Tons of utility damage. Uh -oh. Boomic insta headshot. And as he gets dinked down to 38, Electronic Ooh. takes to the front of this fight. Simple pops up from Pit and ends this one for Ents. Spinks outnumbered, outgunned, outdone. Up close, you'll find Pit at the very least. And there is this route that he could try to push. He has the bomb. Oh, and he has a second as well, but he is very much swarmed. We've got players on cat, top, mid, and tunnels. And Spinks is figuring this one oh. out, but finally Simple gets him. Three kills in a 1v5 is not too bad, but when Navi are this close to the finish line, this close to Grand Finals in Antwerp, yeah. it is not nearly enough. Yeah, that was just a beautiful round from Navi from start to finish. I mean, they, and the thing was, Ents were just slowly beating themselves. They were looking desperate at the end, running through that cat smoke, not dealing with long control, peaking a little bit too early for Deha, and Simple being in a smart spot, nice and deep into long doors with an off in play in an unusual spot. And again, the proactivity from him on both sides has been paramount to Navi's success. His ability to, as you mentioned, treat middle like this jungle gym, peaking mid whenever he wants to, taking out Madden, taking out someone on the door cross. Completely innocent victim got hit almost every single round in that first half. And in the second, he's showing Ents what they need to do. Appearing like Houdini inside of the long doors. Ready to run up mid early on. They got some of the aggression out early as well. They can slow it down and now Ents have to look for new ways to win. And they have to bring back eight rounds to do it. Antwerp, Ents will need you right now if they're to do this. Dia burnt out a second. That's going to force him back. Snappy though, nice timing. Gets through mid. Finds his kill versus Electronic. And now they start to come in from this B site. It's going to be Perfecto swarm from all directions. His support not yet nearby. Oh, but Boomich and Perfecto able to get kills. A 2v2 to separate Navi from the finals. And Boomich knocking on the window. He softens himself up, give him a little bit more of a chance. But it's Boomich and Simple versus Snappy and Hades. And as that bomb slowly ticks, the sweat collects on Entz's brow. Snappy on that back plat hide. Simple seems to be honing in on him. Hades pops up, gets his kill v. Simple. Boomich with the first one. And he just needs to figure this out. Where has Snappy oh. gone off to? Round 24. Oh, man, it comes down to the patience right there. He believed that if there was somebody, K-Sharp, he would have peaked tunnels earlier. That was the move. Snappy had such low health. Left it to that op kill again, and there is a spark, of course. A good round from Ents. Some of that X factor, it's a simple round, and they leave the mid B smoke open. There's a chance they could lose there. But what do we see? A situation where Navi start off 3A, they punish with that fast mid squeeze. That's some very fundamental stuff, but it works out really well from Ents. Ooh, Diho blinded. Oh, when you see a round like this, simple swing in an A1S. Yeah, look at the support. As him and Electronic are boosted up into their bomb site. No round is free versus Navi when they play like this. Yeah. We know that uh, long control has been taken. We also know that T's feel comfortable with just long control alone. Simple drops this alert smoke on the corner of Cat to make it seem like he's playing around it, but he's actually going really committal here. Simple pushes through, shut down by Snappy. Great cover. But now all these pistol players try their damnedest. We've got a frag for Perfecto, another for Electronic. Snappy senses that presence. Can't quite finish all of what's left with Boomich. But it's a stall from Ents. Oh, and wow. Utility out of the CT side. They're all trying to come up from their spawn. That smoke is huge. It allows them to boost and not be worried. Oh, but shut Madden down. Cover Madden Snappy. Gets the headshot. Snappy off of that bomb plant. Looks to deny these CTs any further footing. And sure enough, one by one, they fall. 
Perfecto is still close. He's got a smoke. He doesn't have a kit currently on him. And Snappy's going to just rock his okay. world. Comes around the corner and keeps things rolling for Ents. Simplicity may be the answer. Ents building brick by brick, playing slowly, playing carefully. They've won a fast round. They needed that for the confidence. Now they win an anti eco. They're in control most of the time. They had one anti there to make sure Simple doesn't get more than he should. And now it is a six round game. They perform bigger comebacks from this point. They don't have to look back on how much it took just to get here. And these rounds, easier and easier. As the economy of Navi falls shorter oh and God. shorter, but Simple is never an easy kill. 29 on the scoreboard as he blasts Diha into the next round. Spinks will catch Boomich at least, and you'd think b site is the perfect target. Spinks looking to power up towards mid, but all he's done is give them an AK. Yes, and the man advantage. And of course, they immediately hand that over to Simple. The resources may not be there right now, but it's always terrifying just seeing the kills that Navi are getting, even with just these basic weapons. Yeah, they retrieve two AKs. Yeah. Go ahead, save this one. We've got Ents on double digits. Navi could go to Value Village and come out looking fly. With how resourceful they are. There is just something about double digits and dignity that go together. And then can drop their shoulders again. Oh, and Snappy's going to punish that fallback, but yeah. it's neither of the AKs. No big deal. Yeah. And it's one step closer. Yes, they are. Hey, we know Navi like a close game. And showing us a little bit of sheen here, a little composure. Some resilience versus a very well-prepared Navi. Impossible to know how ready Ents were for this specific map in this pool, even though they play it. What are the ideas? Fast B. Oh, but a missed flash. It bounces off the back of their teammate, and they immediately halt. They call it quits. Yeah, they like going into the set stuff, and yeah, here they get shut out. They don't overcommit this time. Neither do the CTs, as we can see from the setup. It's not the way they wanted to start the round, but we'll see how they decide to end it. Second counter-terrorist of Navi tucks into that B site, and Ants are going to go through the procedures. Big tabs on simple is a big one. As you can see, it layered up in this position with a teammate. And it looks like maybe Ents have just saved it for later. Will there be timing? We know how explosive they can be. Fire goes deep, bit in position, finds one. Matt has got that answer, oh. and so does D Hawk. Ents' rifleman starting to power up. But push comes to shove, and 11th for Ents looking likely. Oh. At this point, Navi, they're going to concede, and slowly but surely, these rounds rack up. They already look better than they did just a few rounds ago, right? The quality here. The explosiveness is there. They, they didn't overcommit on this play like they did earlier when they tried to split Cat and Long and just got opt and rifled down, running through smokes. Here, they get shut down initially with the smoke. Navi don't know about it. They keep 3A the whole time. Mid is escaping wound in the setup, but Ents don't expose that flaw. They don't even put on cap pressure. They don't want Navi to think about anything. They want them to sit in that position. Then they just come through with the B play late, and it can come down to a two-player hold, but at the end of the day, it's 5v2. Deha has been incredibly consistent on the T side entries. Again, it's about the amount of help they have between the five players. And while still some are waking up, it seems like they are doing it together. They have to hear this terrible sound of match point every single time they spawn in the next round. But now they know, four round game, and Navi are not going to be able to buy in every single one of those rounds. But this one they will. Another high hurdle. We saw that B commit early get canceled in the last round. Maybe this time they do decide to commit. Nope. They face Hades at the helm. Snappy takes up the mantle, yeah. and Bit, he's not yet inside of this bomb site. Smoke starts to go down, but 
Spink still able to get that first Perfecto, lining him up. It's good damage, but not enough to stop him. 10 HP between D Hot and Spinks, and once again, yes. has carved their path forward in this semifinals and into this B site. A deep wound versus Navi, back to back. An incredibly brave call, right? To do the exact same thing twice, to put that much pressure on. And Navi actually set up in positions to hold that. That looked like they used the appropriate grenades early on. They kept it in their mind that this could come through. But they trusted in Spinks. He's delivering now up to 15 frags, not totally silent. Still only one player on the team with a positive scoreline in Madden. Coming off so many important victories and duels won in the first half so long ago. Those were all puzzle pieces that are fitting into the greater picture. And now with Enz getting that out of the way, I mean, we probably won't see that three times, but we know that Navi have to respect it. This can draw out utility. This is where now conditioning can come into play. Something has to change. We have attack timeout. Money is going to be a bit lower for Navi. Enz can recognize this opportunity. And this is where it gets easier for your caller. At a certain point, we had Navi running up mid with MP9s versus full guns, peeking everything, swinging off cat, not worrying about whether someone could trade. They didn't believe they could get out dueled. Now Enz have earned that respect back. They slowed Navi down. There are less aggressive openings that we've seen taken from Simple. A lot less progress early in the round on Cat. And now Navi are going to be the ones guessing. What do Ents want to do with us as opposed to what we want to do with them? And that's never a spot, fun spot to be in. They'll feel blessed. And we can see the frustration start to set in a little bit as Ents get five straight. Yes, they do. Navi can rest on their laurels, but they'd be fools to do so. Hades. He's going to let that first player cross. Oh my god, the three-peat. Again, they're going to run at this. Perfecto with a pre-fire, trying to stop it. Will get one, and then they get bottled. Snappy kills Spanks and fits big inside sight. It's Hades versus five. They tried to copy and paste it three rounds in a row. But Navi won't be fooled. Perfecto ever-present. Hades in a world of hurt. The Undertaker on the other side of this door to put the cherry on oh! top. 